So I wasn't about to make this video, but it must be sad. I'm sorry, it must be sad, period. <laughs> y'all welcome back to my channel it's your boy mars powers here and if you're new how you doing how you feeling welcome welcome to the team so pretty much this video is gonna be a little bit different from my little trendy reaction videos i kind of wanted to give y'all um a review or like a, just a tell-all about my experience at frostburg um if you don't know what that is frostburg is pretty much like the school in western maryland like a little mountain school and honestly a lot of people always ask me Oh, like, do you like Frostburg? Is it lit? Is it a party school? Like, what is it like? Girl, honestly, it's a little lackluster. Yeah, she's, 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 she's cute. I don't want to deter anybody away, anyone who's like, if you're an admitted student and you're about to watch this video or whatever. But if you see the title of this video, you kind of know my opinion on it. And, and it still stands. The reasons why I really don't like Frostburg like that is because it's just, it's, it's, it's not for me. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it. Like a lot of people try to be like, oh, Frostburg, it's so fun, it's so this, it's so that. But honestly, it's, it's, it's just no. Like, she, it's, she's a cute girl, I'll give her that. Frostburg, she's a cute little school. But it's just, it's not for me. And by that, I just mean like, one of, the, one of the main things that I really, like, I cannot stand about this school, like, it's just so far from everything. Like, there's nothing to do. Like, if you're one of those people that can make something out of anything, then you're probably gonna like this school. But if you're like me, girl, and you need, like, the quickest stop to the bar, and I'm not talking about one of these little country, little local bars. I'm talking about, like, an actual bar, like, a city bar. Girl, you're not gonna find that here, girl. I'm telling you, you're not gonna get... I'm sorry, you're probably not gonna like it. If you're like me, you're not gonna like it. Yeah. And like, every, everything that's like nearby is like an hour away. And since it's like a mountain top school, like if you wanna like go to like an actual mall, because the mall they have near the school, it's um, yeah, that's, um, if you haven't seen a girl, you have to go see it for yourself. Cause it's, 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 no, not, not at all, no. It's a little, it's, it's trash, yeah. But um, everything's far away, like everything's like an hour plus, an hour plus away. And it's just like, I can't get behind it. I, can't, I really just can't. <laughs> I really just, I can't do it. But somehow, some way, I've managed to stick it out, thug it out, and I will be graduating from Frostburg next week. So if you're seeing this video, definitely give it a chance. This is not like a, a video to bash it but it definitely was um girl what i'm talking about i'm trying to i'm about to lie to you and talk about oh girl you know give, give it a chance do give it a chance girl take take the tour okay try the food look around see if it's for you but me personally i can't do it girl and i'm managing to graduate by somehow just thugging it out because i transferred here and i don't want to keep transferring and like delaying my process of just getting my degree because I don't want to be in school like out of, in all of my 20s and my late teens like who's trying to be in school forever we're trying to get this bag and we're trying to move on so pretty much I well the reason why I don't really like Frostburg is one it's far from everything two it's like if you want to do things you kind of have to wait for like campus events to do things and since it's always cold up here it's like there's really no one's really gonna be out and when people are out, then it's a, it's a good it's a good ass time when people are actually out doing stuff. But if no one's out doing anything, if there's really no events going on, it's it's boring, and you kind of have to you know search for something to do. And that's just I can only search for something to do so like for so long, and then it's like okay, I can't like I can't get behind a girl, I can't do it, like it's. Another thing that I really just don't, not, I'm not really a fan of is the food. Um, Frostburg can't cook. I'm just gonna say it. Frostburg can't cook. They eat their food, their contract, whatever it is, the little meal deal stuff, it's, they can't cook. You're better off going to Subway, Chick-fil-A for the first like two weeks if, you're, if, you're, if you haven't really been here yet. You're gonna get tired of that. It's like, you know, the calf, it's, 
it's very... I, I would give the food a C- minus at best. At best. Because it's just, they, they, it's just, I don't even know. They just can't cook. That's, that's a mess. That is a mess. Oh my God. The barbershop, there's no barbershop for black folks. If you're if you're a black guy up here and you're trying to go to the um find a barbershop, you're better off finding somebody to cut your hair on campus because you're gonna just be, if you're gonna be like me, you might try to do it yourself. That's fine. If you're if you can rock up little little fade, you can do that. But there, there's there's really there's really nobody up here like professionally that can really cut hair. And that's just, you know, one of the down, especially, especially for me, I like to keep a fresh cut like every other week, every week and a half. So it's like, on top of that, they also have the whole, since this, since this is a majority white area, and I don't know why I'm using air, air quotes because it's majority white, but since this is a majority white area, if you're a black student going anywhere, like say you're going to Walmart or the movie theater or the mall or any, any of the surrounding areas, it's kind of um, has like this racist aura b behind it. Like it's really just like you, you feel attention, you feel the white people watching you. And being from back, you know, Eastern Maryland, Central Maryland, that area-ish, I can't do that either. I just, this, it's like this, this area, this generalized Western Maryland, Frostburg, Cumberland area, it's just, I can't do that. It's really just, it's, I don't know. It's like, it's not really a friendly feel behind it. Like, it seems like it really has that feeling like the white people up here really don't want you around. And that's just me speaking on me. I can't, really can't speak for anybody else. That's just me personally. It's, again, this is my opinion, disclaimer. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. So, besides all of that, besides most of the things that I really hate, like, there's nothing to do, really. It's boring. If you come up here with a good old I can do attitude, you know, I'm gonna make friends, be social, get out of your room, then you might have, you're gonna have a good time. You're gonna have a good time. It really is what you make of it. If you're just gonna be antisocial, stick to yourself, you're gonna be miserable. Take it from me, girl, cause that was me. You're gonna, you're gonna be miserable. Um, but besides most of the things that I said that I really don't like, there are, there are some pluses. There are some pluses behind Frostburg. <laughs> One, it is a small campus, so you really get like a more interpersonal feels between you and your professors, and your professors are really there to help you. They're, like I have multiple professors, and I'm an English major, so I've had like multiple um, professors who are actually there to help you, will really like help you with extra credit, office hours, in any way they can, they'll help you. And that's like something you really don't get like in larger schools, like where it's like classes of like 75 plus, like, when, when you have classes that are like more interpersonal, and I'm only can speak for like smaller majors, not like big, big ass majors with biology, girl, because we, we don't do that. We don't do that over here, no. Yeah, you really get that interpersonal feeling. And that's, some, that's one thing that I do like about Frostburg. Like I don't really just hate everything. I can say I do dislike the school world, but I don't, I don't necessarily hate everything. Another plus, and this is a big plus for me, at least because I'm a transfer and I'm coming from out of state, is the tuition is cheap. I don't know when, whenever you're watching this video, girl. It could go, it, it, it could increase, it could decrease. The video, right now, currently in 2019, when I'm uploading this, it's, the tuition's pretty cheap. So for what you get, I mean, bitch, now that I'm thinking about it, you pretty much get what you pay for. <laughs> Another plus before Frostburg is that the scenery, the like nature, like the mountainscape, everything, it's just, it's beautiful. Like if, you, if you're if you one of those people that can really take the time out to actually appreciate like your surroundings and your environment, you're gonna like the scenery of Frostburg because it's just seeing the snow-capped mountains in the um, morning or the sunrise, or just like seeing the, like chipmunks or rabbits running across like campus or the sidewalks. It's like, it's like, wow, like there's really life around us. And a lot of people don't really take that time to actually acknowledge that. So I don't know. But even with all that being said, like, I'm, I don't know, like, I don't want to necessarily say that I hate Frostburg. Like, looking back and knowing that I'm about to graduate, it's like, I do appreciate my time here, but it just, it just wasn't for me. It just wasn't for me. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It really depends. Like, it really depends. I just, like, a lot of people like to say, oh, Frostburg is fun. Like, it, it. It is, it, it is, but it really it really just depends. It really depends on how you make it, what you do of it. So, 
yeah, that's this is pretty much my opinion. Girl, don't drag me if you're a Frostburg stan, if you love Frostburg. But this is what I got to say, girl. I, um, but per, to pretty much sum, sum up this video, um, Frostburg really is what you make of it. I hope I didn't deter or discourage anyone from attending the school. That was not my, <laughs> that was not my, um, <laughs> what I intended to do, but I just wanted to voice my opinion. I feel like a lot of people get on like Twitter and stuff. No one's really making YouTube videos about like their actual experience at Frostburg. So I was like, let me get on here. Let me do something. Let me tell, let me tell the people what it is, at least to me. So, <laughs> I mean, that is what it is. Um, if you come up here, definitely give it a chance. Take the tour, do, do it. Look around, look around, try the food. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And yeah, if you agree with my opinions, let me know. If you disagree, let me know. If you're about to attend Frostburg, let me know. Let's talk about Frostburg in the comments down below. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this little video. It's a little different from my normal stuff, but I was like, let me just get on here <laughs> and talk about it. But you know. Yeah, this is the end of this video, y'all. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.